Little tiny feet. So freaking adorable. Look at this, you guys. Oh, go straight. Oh my goodness. Today is your lucky day. I mean, not, not you guys, but this girl's lucky day. So this over here is my Cyria Cosmos Elegance, also known as the Trinidad Dwarf Tiger. Why dwarf? Because these guys, they only get to about two inches, so it's about that big. Yes, guys, not all tarantulas are massive like the Goliath Bird Eater or my Salmon Pink Bird Eater. A lot of times when you tell people, oh, I keep tarantulas, they're like, yo, okay, you have this big spider in your house? Yep, I'm not coming over to but no, okay? Tarantulas, there, there's so many species. This is one of them, which is a dwarf. Look at it, it's so small. And this is already a sub-adult. This is about one and a half inches. They get about two inches. So yeah, basically the size of this container, the length. You know why I say today is her lucky day? It's because I just got back from the pet shop and got her a new enclosure. Yes, she is finally being transferred over to this larger enclosure. It's like, I would say one, two, three, about three and a half times the size of this enclosure. And this is going to be her permanent home. She'll be staying in this for the rest of her life. I mean, if mold comes, yeah, freaking mold. <laughs> if mold breaks out, I will rehouse her, of course. So yeah, without any further ado, do let's set up this enclosure. First things first, I'm gonna have to go and get some substrate because, you know, substrate is what tarantulas need to dig, they need to burrow, they need to, yeah. So I think that is the perfect amount, not too much, not too little, she still can burrow because she'll only get about two inches, so two inches, although you can never have too much substrate for a tarantula, but I mean, when you have them in an enclosure, this is enough for it to thrive. By the way, the enclosure that this tarantula is in currently, it's actually the box that my iPod shuffle came in. So I thought, hey, this looks cool. It looks clear. It can be a tarantula enclosure. You know us tarantula keepers, any container we find will be like, hey, tarantula enclosure. You guys have tarantulas, you relate, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you all remember this from the what video the Goliath bird eater But no, we're not gonna be putting this whole pot in because it's so small This tarantula is super tiny and this it pretty much covers like half of the enclosure So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shred it. I'm gonna peel small pieces of it just like that I destroyed it. Yeah, whatever, but <laughs> I just want the coconut husk It basically allows her to make her burrows or tunnels better This will help to hold the substrate just sprinkle it all around and then we're gonna put in this palm tree dried thing So this will go somewhere at the corner over here just like that and of course leaf litter because it makes the enclosure look really really nice Yeah, I took a lot. I mean, there's only two, not a lot, but <laughs> yeah, I took two. I mean, I took three, but I think I'm only going to be using one. So yeah. Now, another good thing that I'm rehousing her into this is because I can now add a water dish, which is pretty much just a bottle cap because the tarantula is like really small. You don't want to give her big deli cups like my other tarantula. So water dish will be just at the corner over here. In a previous enclosure, the water dish would pretty much be like half of the enclosure. So I didn't put a water dish in. Usually I'll just spritz her. So now we have an official water dish for her to drink when she wants. Now is the time for her to meet her new enclosure. Let's take this cap off and let's take a quick look at her. Yup, this is my heart butt tarantula because look at what's on her butt. It's a freaking heart. So let's get our little heart butt tarantula into her new enclosure. She can be a little bit bolty. You know what? I think I'm gonna get the top layer of her web and just put it into the new enclosure because it does make them feel a little bit at home when you do this. Because I did have one avicularia tarantula. He did not web for over a month and then I contacted my friend and asked him why. He was like, just going to get some of the old webbing and throw it in. And within a day, you guys, a day, he started webbing up the entire enclosure. So that is one tip if your tarantula doesn't want to web. Get the old webbings and put it into this new enclosure. Hey little guy, what are you doing? I mean girl, what are you doing? Check out the hard butt you guys. Beautiful species. Just have a quick look at her because she is super duper gorgeous. Not all tarantulas are big and hairy and this girl is a perfect example. Look at her. She has a triangle pattern for her head and that this distinct heart butt. No guys, I don't have a fetish for tarantula butts, but booty 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 rocking 
Look at that, okay? Tell me that is not fascinating. It's a hard butt tarantula. <laughs> let's put her back into her new enclosure and hopefully she enjoys it. Come on, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Hey, can you chill? Please chill. Hey. She looks so good with red in the background, but yeah, gotta put my phone down because I've gotta get her out of my shirt. Please be a good girl. Hey, come on. You're not being a good girl. What are you doing? Little tiny feet. So freaking adorable. Look at this, you guys. Definitely get this tarantula if you want to get a dwarf tarantula. Yeah, that's it. No more playing around. It's time for you to go back into your enclosure. Come on, what are you doing? Stop climbing up. Can you please? Don't bolt, okay? If you want to bolt, go straight- Oh my goodness, I was just gonna say go straight in, but Yep, I think she read my mind. You just saw how far she is. This isn't a very heavy Weber compared to my GBB. But this girl, I think she'll do fine in this. A little boop on the butt because you gotta go down, okay? Boop! Oh! <laughs> there you go. Enjoy your new enclosure. That is pretty much it for this video because I just wanted to film me rehousing this girl because we don't usually see her. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like this video, thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down if you're new to this channel. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. If you'd like to support through Patreon, links in the description below together with the social media links. So feel free to go check those out. Till next video, I hope you guys have a great one and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm not too sure if she could squeeze out these holes. I don't know why they make these holes so big, but yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to get some paper towels, roll them up and just stuff them in so she can't squeeze out this hole as well. Now we're officially done with the video.